What's up, freaks? It's Steve Becker from Peak Physique Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing in Nanuet and Suffern, and also the Mentorship Business Coaching Program out in California. This is Steve Says, episode number 72. Today, we are talking about the other L word. Now, a, a few months ago, we talked about the L word, and I know you got a little excited. You thought you were finally going to see Steve break down and talk about the L word, the L word that you thought I was going to say, and that wasn't it. That time, it was about loyalty, and we could go on about loyalty every week, about breaches in loyalty, and what loyalty means, and how to keep loyalty, how to recognize lack of loyalty, but that is not the L word today. Today is, a, is the other L word, and this is the L word you want to avoid at all costs. Maybe you want to avoid the L word that you thought it was. Maybe you want to avoid that one at all costs. I'm just going to pull you up on the second screen, give you a second to get here in the room. As we get rolling, there we are. We are up and rolling live. If you have any questions, comments, put them down in the comments section below. Let's talk about it. So, the L word. Avoid this L word at all costs. And you always think you know what the word is. And probably the word, again, the word that you think it is, you should avoid. And this actual word you should avoid. And we're going to talk about... Why you don't need any of this L word in your freaking life. You know what Steve says. Some people will hate, but most can relate. Steve says is basically a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, and your finances. So you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. So the L word, what is it? What is it? And why do we wait and search and we wait our entire lives for this L word? Why do we do it? Why do we do it? And why should we avoid it? Why should we avoid it pretty much at all costs? And why is it so freaking misunderstood? And let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Losing? No, but good, good guess. Good guess. We know it's obviously not the original, you know, the L word that you're they're thinking it was going to be. We know it's obviously not that. But we're talking about from a personal development standpoint, positive mindset standpoint, adapting and overcoming, trusting the process. Of course, no excuses. What is this L word? So let's talk about it. I'll give you a, some hints, some clues. It's pretty simple once we get right to it. It could mean chance or good fortune. It could mean success or failure, apparently brought on by chance rather than one's own actions. It's simplarity. Once I tell you that, it pretty much gives it away. And it is luck. Luck is the L word we're looking for. It's, it's the force that seems to operate for good or for ill in a person's life, as in maybe shaping circumstances, events, or opportunities. It's good fortune, advantage, or success considered as a result of chance. Now that would be good luck. So luck is just the word, but obviously as anything else, it could be positive or negative, good or bad. We're gonna break down this whole thing, why you don't need this, why you don't want this, and why you should avoid it. Because you wait your whole life for luck. You're waiting your whole life. You're waiting for that big chance, that big breakthrough. It's all bullshit, we're gonna break it down. Because look, look at the different definitions of luck. A combination of circumstances and or events Operating by chance to bring good or ill to a person. Is that how you want to live your life? Is that what you want to wait for? A combination, all right, so we need a combination of circumstances and events and probably time and place and people and weather and everything else. A combination of all of it together operating by chance to bring good or ill. So either one to a person. Now, if that's how you want to live your life, Waiting for luck, waiting for that lucky break, that lucky chance, that lucky fucking lottery ticket or whatever else. Luck also could mean advantage or victory, but it also could mean fluke. It could mean opportunity or triumph, but it also could just mean getting a break. Getting a break is just luck, right? There was a, a business management author and expert, I think from Israel. I don't even know exactly how to say the name, but I've read a lot of the stuff. It was Eliahu Goldratt. He said, good luck. When opportunity meets preparation, 
while bad luck is when lack of preparation meets reality. That's some real shit. That's how you describe, that's a good to me, a good description of luck. Right? I'm going to read that again. Good luck is when opportunity meets preparation, while bad luck is when lack of preparation meets reality. So what's the word that was put in there twice for the good luck and the bad luck? Fucking preparation. That's what's going to determine whether or not you have luck. Luck is bullshit. It's fake. It doesn't exist. I know people try to, there's some people out there that might believe in that. But if you want to sit and wait on that for your success or your results or your weight loss or your family or to go meet that special person out there or whatever, that it's just luck. It's just going to fucking happen. It ain't going to happen. Because remember, the... What that, that definition we said, a combination of circumstances and events that operating by chance to bring good or ill to a person. So even all those, those circumstances and events together, operating by chance, which means you have no control over it, to bring good or evil, so it's still 50-50 on top of that. It's bullshit. Stop waiting around. Stop sitting on your ass and waiting around for some kind of lucky break. Or you, And this goes in all areas of life. Right? You want to get an actor once it get discovered. There's no fucking lucky break. It's the actor that goes to like audition after audition and grinds it out and keeps getting better and better and preparing for an audition and gets turned down 150 times. But guess what? Goes to 150 first audition and gets a starring role in a huge multi freaking million dollar movie. And then people say, oh my God, you were so lucky. No, motherfucker. I wasn't so lucky. I showed up to 150 whatever they're called, auditions over the last six months or whatever the hell it is, and I busted my ass and learned and practiced my craft and improved and got better and better and worked fucking hard. I know that's a tough term for some people to swallow. Hard work. You got to swallow that. Hard work. There's a saying, I forget who said it, said, when opportunity comes knocking and you answer the door, don't be surprised if it's hard work that's at the door. Or answers or however the fuck it goes. It ain't going to be luck at the door. When opportunity comes knocking at the door, it's not going to be luck that's there waiting for you. It's going to be hard work. Hard work is luck. Hard work creates your luck. So fuck luck. I like that actually. I got to write that down. I'm going to write that down. Fuck luck. Got to create a, a, a picture for that one. So what is, what is to me, so that was, I mean, we went a little bit what it really means to me, luck. Fuck luck. I like that. I like that. So luck. To me, the Steve says, peak freak definition of luck, or even better yet, good luck, means I know I put in the time. I know I put in the effort. I know I put in the hard fucking work. Now, no, that's putting that preparation and dedication to use. That's, to me, luck. And implementing it to create the desired outcome I'm looking for. To me, that's luck. And look at all those words. That's a, that's, that, that doesn't sound like luck to me. That sounds like some, that sounds like a culmination of some hard work. We said Hard work, preparation, dedication, implementing to get a desired outcome. That's fucking luck to me. That's how you get luck. Good luck is just opportunities that you create yourself. And bad luck are just obstacles created probably by you or by someone else. That if you want to turn that into a good luck, you just need to figure out how to adapt and overcome. Stop being a little bitch. Figure it out, F-I-O, and make it happen. Has nothing to do with luck. Good luck or bad luck doesn't fucking exist. Doesn't exist. So let's let's talk about then bad luck. Right? There could always be a positive or negative to anything. Like you could say mindset. You hear the word mindset all the time. It could be positive, negative, right? You could say discipline. You could have good or bad discipline. You could have discipline of bad habits. That's still discipline. You're disciplined in your fucking habits, but just like luck. It could be good or it be bad, or at least the thought, the, the myth of luck could be, oh, I had such good luck or I had such bad luck. But bad luck, like people who say, I just, oh, I always just have such bad luck. Stop fucking labeling yourself. Labels, all labels. Like you hear labels of, oh, I have, and some people legitimately do, so don't go rip my, you know, don't go talking about it. Like people have a, a, an ADD or whatever, or they can't pay attention, or they aren't, I'm not, a, I'm not a people person. I told myself that for years. I'm not a people person. I'm not a people person. It's a fucking label. It's a label you put on yourself. Just like luck is just a label. Oh, I have bad luck. I'm a bad luck person. Any kind of label is just an excuse for you to fucking slack off, for you just to cruise and coast, to stay comfortable, to, you know, and, and not have to go and fulfill your potential and not have to go work hard. 
That's what a label is. That's what the label of bad luck is, or any label for that matter. Like, you say that I'm a, oh, I self-sabotage myself. Or you use labels about your childhood. Or that's always the way I've been. I've always been that way. That's just always the way I've been. So I'm a self-sabotager. I can't get out of my own way. I have bad luck. It's a fucking excuse to slack, to coast, to stay comfortable, to not have to go above and beyond, to not step out of your comfort zone, to work, not to work hard, to not answer that fucking door when it's hard work on the other end, because you were hoping it was going to be luck on the other end. And it's not luck. It's fucking hard work on the other end. Let's say you get fired from a job, right? You're working. You get fired. Maybe you're a decent worker. Maybe you're just skating by. Maybe you're doing just enough to stand to the radar. And you get fired. You, you, you show up late every day for a week within your first couple months. A couple months later, you show up every day late again, and you get fired, right? So you go get another job. You're there for a month. You show up late every day. Your same habits because you, you refuse to change, to get better, to improve yourself. And let's just say you get fired again. Now, you get fired from two jobs within like a, such a short period of time, and it's probably been going on for a long time, a long chain in all areas of your life. Then you go and you, you go and beat your friends and your, there's a word I'm looking for, I can't even think of it. The, pe the enablers, your enablers, the friends, your, your friends and your, your little crew, your little people that enable you, your enablers. Oh, poor you, you know, that's, you just can't catch a break. You just have such bad luck. You have bad luck. Forget the fact that you fucking show up late every day. And probably when you're there, you don't work hard as you should. Or, and you fucking gossip and cause a bunch of drama and all this other stuff. Or whatever the case might be. You know, whatever the details are. But your friends will just tell you and you'll label yourself as, I just can't catch a break. I just have the worst luck. And then, of course, you know, you'll go into blaming other people. So if you blame, use the label of bad luck. Usually that's a person that's going to start blaming other people and not take ownership. But that's a whole nother animal. It's a whole nother episode. And we've talked about that in the past. Just taking ownership for your shit. Not blaming people. Not making excuses. Of course, no excuses, right? So luck. You know, you got fired from the job. You just have the worst luck. There's a magician that I remember seeing. And he said the only, the only good luck that many great men ever had was being born with the ability and determination to overcome bad luck. Basically, they created their own good luck. There's no such thing. Like, if you read that, you think that he's talking about good luck and bad luck, but he's talking about ability and determination and overcoming shit is what he's talking about. The only good luck many great men ever had was being born with the ability and the determination to overcome bad luck. It has nothing to do with luck. Those are just terms, those are phrases, those are labels. That's just proof. That's just making an example right there. How there's no such thing as good luck or bad luck or whatever. Or you could say, I was in, you know, the, oh, yeah, it only happened, it only happened to me because I was in the right place at the right time and the right day of the week, the right time of day, I happened to bump into the right person. For the, Let's use that person from the earlier, the audition. They were just in the right place at the right time for the right audition, audition for the right person, the right time of week, or whatever this else. The person was desperate. No, no, no. You went, you did the hard work. You did the preparation. That's nothing to do with the right place, the right time. Because what's what, that makes no fucking sense. I was in the right place at the right time. It was lucky. No, if you didn't go, then you weren't in the right place at the right time. But if you did go, if you took action, it has nothing to do with luck. It has to do with you getting off your fucking ass and taking action and going to be in that supposed right place and right time. You made it happen by being there. Or you made it not happen by not being there. By lack of action. Or choosing to go somewhere else. Oh my god, I should have went there and I would have done this and this and that. But instead I chose to go there. Oh, I have the worst luck. I chose the wrong place. No, there's no, nothing to do with luck. That was your decision. That's your action. And it led to the outcome that you got. Nothing to do with luck. Someone told me once... They said, you're so lucky, you can, you're lucky, you can just eat whatever you want. You're just so lucky. Motherfucker, there's nothing luck to do about it. It has to do with preparation, it has to do with discipline, it has to do with consistency. You know, it has to do with 20 now, 25, 27 years of consistent eating, of not eating bad for more than like a day and a half at a time, or never missing more than two days of, of working out in a row for 20 years. That's not fucking luck. So, oh, you're lucky. You, you don't have to worry about it. You're lucky. You could just eat whatever you want because you're in fairly decent shape. That's what someone told me once. 
No, 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 motherfucker. No luck about it. It's discipline. It's consistency. And listen, if you think I could eat whatever I want, let's just say I could eat whatever I want, which I couldn't. No matter how great of shape you're in, you just can't go eat whatever you want and like and, and think you're going to maintain your results. It's just impossible. Again, whole other episode. But let's just say I could eat whatever I want. I can only eat. I've only gotten to the point where I can eat whatever I want because I don't eat whatever I want. No luck involved there. It's just logic. That's logic. That's hard work. That's discipline. That's dedication. That's consistency over fucking decades. So if luck means being consistent and disciplined and sacrificing for 25 years, I'm a lucky motherfucker, right? Then you could put it that way. Or someone tells you, look how luck they also use luck. They tell someone will tell you, say you're going to fight Mike Tyson in a boxing match, or at least 20 years ago. Not now. Now, who knows? Now he'll still probably knock a motherfucker out, even though he really looks out of it. But anyway, besides the point, let's just say you were going to fight Mike Tyson and someone says, oh, good luck with that. Like, it's almost like a condescending remark. Luck is like a, con- yeah, like, like that's all you have is just luck. You have no chance in the world. So luck is just, a, it's almost like a negative word to me. It's like a negative vibe, luck. Or when a, when an athlete a, or athletes t- teams are playing, like say the, the, the World Series, the two baseball players, or two fighters are getting in a cage to fight each other, or opposing generals, let's talk even higher stakes, opposing generals at war for like life or death situations, and they say good luck to each other. They were across the cage from each other, good luck. They're across the battlefield, good luck. You think they really mean good luck? They mean you're relying on luck. So I'm going to tell you good luck because you need luck. You're going to rely on luck. But me, I did the training. I did the preparation. I'm fucking ready. I'm going to stomp a motherfucking mud hole in your ass when someone says good luck, like on that opposing sides. Serena Williams, obviously a, a tennis great, said luck has nothing to do with it. Because I've spent many, many hours, countless hours on the court working for my one moment in time that I don't even know when it's going to come. Not even knowing when that time is going to come. There's no luck there. That's persistence. That's training. That's dedication. That's a discipline over time. That has nothing to do with luck. Countless hours on the court working for one moment in time, not even knowing when it would come. How is that luck? There's... You could come up with these examples all day in sports, in history, in, in the military, in warfare, and philosophy. How luck is just a myth. Luck is just bullshit. Stop waiting for luck. Stop waiting for that chance to happen and make it happen. Generally, but, but, but listen, generally when people say to you, good luck, we know they mean well. So you're not going to be like those opposed, uh, people opposing on the battlefield when they say, someone says good luck to each other and they're ready to, to, to drop bombs on each other and shoot each other. They're saying... Yeah, you rely on luck, motherfucker. Well, I'm going to rely on my hard work, my dedication, my discipline, my training, and my, and my consistency while you go rely on luck while I crush you. But in general, in the general population, right, with the, the, the civilians, if they're, the civilians that are out there, when someone generally says to you, good luck, you need to understand they mean well. It's not like they're telling you, fuck you, you're not prepared. In general, because that's just the conception people have of luck, they'll tell you good luck. It means they mean well. But... I've seen it a couple times where someone said good luck to someone and their response, and this was on annoying, you know, Facebook. We know there could be the Facebook dou- douchebaggery that's out there. The, the bitch acidness on Facebook because you're behind your little keyword, click, 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 click. But then, you, you know, you see the people in person and it's all smiles and hugs and, oh, it's so great to see you. High fives and hugs. Again, another episode. We get off track real quick here on Steve Sets. But so someone, I saw someone tell someone good luck on their new venture. That they were going after on, on Facebook. The response was luck. There's nothing to luck about it. Don't tell me good luck. I don't need luck. I, I, I'm so great. I'm so awesome. I work so hard. This is like someone tells you good luck. Say thank you. I appreciate it because they're not meaning any ill will towards it. So don't be a fucking Facebook douchebaggery bitch acidness comment like that because they mean well when they say it. So basically, good luck is you taking responsibility, you know? You take responsibility. You're not lucky. Like it's, oh, I've been so lucky. I didn't get sick this, this entire flu season. I'm so lucky. No, you probably took care of yourself. You probably ate healthy. You drank a lot of water. You had a lot of vegetables. You dressed the way you should be dressing. You avoided sick, toxic places and people and environments and stress. You probably take good, good care of yourself. You were eating healthy. You were exercising, staying strong, getting sleep and rest and recovery and meditation. Does that all sound like luck? Fuck no. That sounds like preparation. That sounds like preparing for battle against that sickness. So you don't say, oh, I was lucky I didn't get sick. Or 
I was lucky I didn't get in a car accident. Now, you can be more alert. Of course, things happen, but luck does not have anything to do with it. Brian Tracy, one of the top highest level sales and business trainers and coaches, said, I've found that luck is quite predictable. If you want more luck, take more chances. Be more active and show up more often. Again, it's almost like a backhanded bitch slap to the luck. It's like a basically saying, fuck luck bitch slap, that he's found luck to be quite predictable. If you want more luck, all right, take more chances. That doesn't sound like luck. Be more active. That doesn't sound like luck. Show up more often. That doesn't sound like luck. Those three sound like fucking action, taking action, making shit happen. That's what that sounds like. Getting shit done. That's what it sounds like. Meeting people is not luck. You can't go out and meet someone. Uh, I was so lucky I met this person that, that gave me a job. Or I met this, the, the, the L word of my life I met. I was so lucky for that. You were lucky. You went out there and you made it happen. Losing is not bad luck. Winning is not bad luck. Success is not bad luck. Fucking victory is not bad luck. Domination is not luck. Happiness is not luck. The great philosopher Chuck Norris said, Whatever luck I had, I made. I was never a natural athlete, but I paid my dues in sweat and concentration and took the time necessary to learn karate and become a world champion. That's from Chuck Norris. So make hard work, make preparation, make discipline, make, make you not being an asshole, make that be your luck. Sometimes just being nice, that creates your luck, right? Because it could create opportunities, could create new relationships you could make. Hard work, preparation, discipline, and not being an asshole. This is like... Words of wisdom to success, right there, those four things. Hard work, preparation, discipline, not being an asshole. There's your luck right there, motherfucker. There is your luck right there. because And that's what's going to overcome luck. That's going to overpower luck. That's going to create your luck. And guess what? Being fucking awesome is not luck. That is a decision you're going to make. That is hard work you're going to put in to being fucking awesome. Because you are fucking awesome. Fuck luck. I will talk to you later. This is Steve Says. No excuses.